following this developing story, dive teams still searching tonight for a person presumed to have drowned in the Grand River this afternoon. Crews say the water rescue has become a recovery operation. 13 on your side, Jeremiah Brown is live in Johnson Park and Walker. And Jeremiah, what are you hearing right now? Yes, Julia, we've been at the staging area since before noon this morning where Kent County Sheriff's Office has taken over this as a recovery operation in the river behind us here. Uh, officials say that kayakers saw a person on the other side of the river with their head above the water gasping for air before they went under and were not seen. Again, this all started before noon today on Butterworth Street near Johnson Park. The Walker Fire Department were first on the scene and requested help from many area agencies. This included what includes water rescue teams from Grand Rapids, Georgetown Township, and both Kent and Ottawa counties. Items found along the shore line led authorities to believe someone might be in the water and these in the search continues this afternoon. Those researchers arrived on scene. We searched the river uh, both north and south of the Wilson Bridge um, and have not located anything at this time. Our current phase right now we're going to be transitioning from a rescue into a recovery operation. Um, once GRFD pulls off the river um, the scene will be turned over to Kent County dive team uh, for the recovery operations. The Walker Fire Department says that waters are calm with good visibility and are favorable for recovery and investigation efforts. Officials have not yet released any information on who they are looking for and whether they are looking for a male or a female. Divers are currently in the water searching along with drone searching from above. They also say there is no indication of what the person was doing before being in the water or what they were doing in the water in general. From Johnson Park and Walker, Jeremiah Brown, 13 on your side.